from McDonald's. What can I get you? <laughs> so we're here at the kitchen, and these staff of Lake Side Inn are here, and they're gonna be the ones walking us through the dal My name is Bimla Khatri. Okay, thank you. She is the head chef here at Lake Side Inn. Lake Side Inn. Yeah, I'm here the manager and the helper of the kitchen. My name is Sanjay Kumar. Perfect. My name is Arimaya Khatri. And we have here... Just some random guy that came in. I smelled the food, so I'm like, let me just come in here. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, we have the cauliflower, we have onion, we have radish, we have carrot, we have spinach, we have lentils, we have black lentils. You can use different lentils. And rice. Potato, and what is that? This is a boiled potato. The boiled potato, okay. And potato, yeah. Because Nepal has a vast climate change among the landscapes, like we have high elevations, low elevations, and right in the middle, they have all these options of vegetables. So, Dal Bot is easily one of those meals that the Nepalese people love to eat because of the variety and how it's cooked fresh to order. The ingredients we're using today all come from their farm. Middle and, finger? Okay. Yeah. And that's up water. to up okay. yeah. that's the that's the measurement for how much water should be in there with the rice. It's not like an official measurement, but it's official measurement. Yeah. That would be. If, so if it works. Rice, this one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it didn't work! <laughs> it didn't work! <laughs> I used to cut them a certain way and this part would always come out. Well, don't ignore that. <laughs> don't ignore that. Don't look, ladies. No. They're like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> These might be the worst cut on hands ever. As you can see, it's a labor of love. It takes time. This isn't like a quick meal. This takes time. Everything's cut fresh. Everything's cooked in the moment, so this is no easy, quick go meal. This is, you gotta put your love into this and dedication because you gotta cut everything, measure everything, wash it multiple times. Like, this isn't, this isn't a microwave meal, but we'll just put it that way. So, dal ba is one of those Nepalese dishes that you can find pretty much anywhere. The one thing you need to be aware and know going into ordering it is that it takes about an hour. So, as you can see, it's already taking us like, what, 20 minutes? Well, at least me. Uh, we're not helping. <laughs> we're not helping as much. But know that it is a quicker process when they're in charge of making the dal ba. Um, but this is actually like really exciting, kind of makes you more aware of like where your food's coming from and how it's prepped. And appreciate it yeah, a lot right. more. Sweet. The damaged part we cut. Okay. Ah. This way. It's like I'm back home cutting up french fries for William for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of french fries, the Nepalese don't make really good fries. Every day we've been here, I've gotten french fries and they're all homemade you use and they're all really good. And now we're putting the salt and the turmeric and the radish to help get rid of all the liquid that's kept after the door for the I redeem myself. I'm going to redeem it. Wow. The trick is to not get your hands. We do not recommend anybody doing this. We've been talking about the Nepalese food and just how good it is. It's because they know how to use spices and flavors better than anywhere we've eaten before. Like that's not even an exaggeration. And you can just smell the perfection. So now it's nice to actually see all the flavors come together because by themselves they might not make sense. Put all together, perfect. We're about to make pickled tomatoes the traditional way. So I'm excited to see this. It's called siloku. Siloku? Siloku. 
Si Lopil. What is that? Salt. 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 A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Give me a powder. Give me a heart. Smell the peppers, and the pepper just hits your throat, so it feels like you just swallowed one. This is so cool, and you'll find these in most Nepalese homes. Like it's just the, the rock, the big thing for them to do all of this one. It's opposed to like a bowl and stuff that we would use back home. This is way cool. It's amazing to see all these ingredients come together. Even the smallest little garlic plays a huge role into the making of this sauce. The tomatoes that were on the pan are now being meshed in Sorry, with the peppers, way. the garlic, the cumin, the turmeric, all coming together as one. And Will over here is gonna finish off the sauce. Yeah. She's making sure it's done right. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't trust me at all. She's like, I'm gonna do it and then I'm gonna let you pretend like you're okay. So, okay, how's the best, best way? Nice way. Best way. Wow. You're welcome. Motion to the ocean. Is that is that the same? I have no idea where you're going. <laughs> she didn't offer help at all. She's <laughs> me. That's. Do you smell that? It smells so good. I'm gonna go like this. Yeah. Oh, that's spicy. Is it? This is good though. Oh man, this would make the perfect like, chips and sauce. Getting all the water out. Also, if you order a doll bot and you're sitting there and you're wondering, like, where's my order? This is why your order's at the table yet. They're making everything scratch. So it's gonna take a while. Also, they eat it maybe two times a day because it gives you all the nourishment and helps you get through. They're doing manual labor, they're doing hard work, so. This gives you everything you need in one meal. I don't know, we might have done eating it twice a day. We're impatient, I don't know if we can wait. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Everywhere else we've been, Thailand, Philippines, here they call it lemon. Lemon. Are they calling it lemon tea? But, yeah, they call it lemon here. Lemon, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Huh? This is good. It's, it's pickled radish in the carrot, but again, it's the spices that add all the depth to everything. It's actually really good. Who thinks of this? Like, that's what amazes me is what I would never think of this. We would never think of this. And then I think it's carried from generation to generation. People continue to keep doing it. Oh, I almost ate your piece. Let me. I was waiting see. for you to eat it <laughs> so I could say something. I love the acidity of the lemons that she the put acidity. in there. <laughs> it really adds to the pickle taste. It just, you know, brings it all together to make it a delightful spot. Fraudulence, fraudulence, <laughs> absolute fraudulence. The pickle, this kid has never in his life said the pickle, ever. Spinach, yeah. Oh, that's the dried spinach? Yeah. Do you eat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> is it? This is good. It tastes yeah. like a like seaweed. It's the equivalent of like the dried seaweed. Okay. I mean, it tastes just like dried seaweed. Yeah, it's very rich. How has the process been so far? Tedious. I am sweating from all the work. <laughs> oh, so much work. No, guys, this is a process. Like, there's a lot that goes in. It's already been an hour, and we still have more stuff for cooking. So again, 
This isn't a quick meal. This is, and you have to love what you're doing to dedicate that much time to it. So it's definitely a meal of love. She just got done roasting some soybeans. They smell good. Oh, now we're putting hot water in the spinach. Nothing goes to waste in this kitchen. So we're literally using every little piece of what is left of the vegetables to put together this dish that has the soybeans, the carrots, the onions, the ground chili peppers, the dried spinach that was boiled and then squeezed. Mm, or <laughs> And then now we're just using the carcass of the lemon to squeeze whatever's left the out of it. The carcass? We're gonna put a fraud alert on this thing. This thing is off the charts. I watch some Hell's Kitchen. That sauce is legitimately... This is difficult to solve because yeah. this, we cannot put all ingredients in here. Okay. That is the most cutest pot I've ever seen in my life, and I just want to cook everything in that little pot. It may Ooh. take three hours or ten hours, but... <laughs> specifically this one. It was space perfect, so I was like, I need this one. So I'm just the nicest. Like, literally, we had the best time staying this hotel. I think we've been it twice now. It's family owned, um, but anyway, yesterday we just went and asked them, can we watch you guys make doll bot? And they're like, uh, not only can you help or watch, you can come help, and we'll explain everything to you, and that's been very invaluable, because we've eaten this once before, but we never actually understood the process whatsoever. And we never really understood what each individual thing was. So it's nice to have an actual understanding of everything. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> that is so cool. I love the show. Oh my god. You love me because I got burnt. No, I'm just <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, vegetable is the reddish pickle. It's like a little bit sour, and this is <clears throat> uh, tomato pickle. Yeah, okay. and it's a little bit spicy. Yes. Yeah, this is uh, called uh, soybean, and in Nepali it's called gundru. Yeah, it's like it's soir, soir. Yeah, mm -hmm. and salad is called lentil. Yeah, it's called black lentil. Black lentils. Yeah. Okay. And pepper and spinach. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah? And rice. I mean, visually, they like hit it off the ballpark. It's beautiful, it's vibrant, and we've already gotten to taste every little piece of this dish alone, and they all tasted delicious, so it's gonna be even better being able to like mix it all and see how it all comes together. And when in Nepal, we're gonna eat it with our hands like everybody else do. It's supposed to taste better that way. So, no fork or spoon. Are you ready? Uh, both hands? No, you only use your right hand. Right Left hand, hand is meant for work and no, only your right hand. And if you can eat it without getting on the back of your hand, you're a true Nepalese. Oh. So, yes, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Right, let's do this. Oh. 
Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is so good. This is amazing. And there's something about eating with your hands to just add more flavor to the food. I think I didn't pick my nose before this. I'm pretty sure you did. That tomato spicy sauce we made earlier, it just brings everything together. Like it's so good. Mm. And fun fact, just the more you know, rice actually means bot and doll is lentils. It may not seem like there's a lot on the plate. Luckily, the great thing is that whenever you are ordering dal bap, you always get seconds. So if there's a specific thing on the dish that you love, like the sauteed spinach or the cauliflower, even the spicy sauce, you can ask for more or they'll just bring it on over and serve it more on your plate. Exhibit A. What? Well, so good. <laughs> so good. More? Oh, absolutely. Can I get more, please? Okay. Sorry, it's so good. <laughs> Thank you. It makes it even better to have known that we put, there was a part of us put into this magic of a dish that we're eating. And thank you. Thank you to the family here at Lakeside Inn. We really appreciate it. And if anyone is ever visiting Pokhara and is wanting to look for a place to stay at, Lakeside Inn, it's a place you want to stay. Honestly, the best sleep you've ever had. The aircon works perfectly. Hot water is always running. And the Wi-Fi is probably the best Wi-Fi we've had here in Nepal. True. Get a little bit of this. I'm not even kidding you. If I knew it didn't take this long to make all the time, I'd have it every day. Or Maybe you're just smart and you wait until it's done or you order it an hour before. Damn, you look like you were about to catch some mm. fish with that. <laughs> wow. Me too, Sam. Today honestly ended up turning out to be one of our best days here at Pokemon. By far, not even exaggeration. And I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad we asked them and they were receptive to it. And again, usually most of the time, to be quite honest with you, if you're genuine and asking somebody from a different culture, wanting to know more about it, learn more about it, or see it, they're going to be receptive to you. Because at the end of the day, we all just want to share a piece of our lives anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're very thankful. So thank you. And thank you guys for watching this vlog. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for more vlogs, here in Nepal. And take our word, the next time you're in Pokhara, come to Hotel Excited. We're yes. not saying that we weren't yes. paid. There's nothing exchanged. This is genuine, genuine recommendation. They are the kindest people and have went out of their way to make us feel welcome. And we got to experience something we would never have got to experience. So thank you, okay. let's go. To that, let's just cheers with some Kana. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. All right. Me too, sir. Me too, sir. Sure. Alright, done the vlog. Done the vlog.